Welcome back. It is the busiest travel week of the year. And for us in Kern County, we of course are watching the fog because that's going to play a factor in the morning commute. Yeah, especially this morning as more fog has formed around the area. Here's what it looks like outside right now. This is uh, from our studio looking to the east of us. And it is soupy even in downtown Bakersfield. Now yesterday our high was 60 degrees, 4 degrees off the normal 80 is our record for today set back in 1917 and our sunset at 446. We've got a temperature uh, right now in Delano at 43, 44 in Button Willow, 46 in Bakersfield and into the mountains. We've got 40s to start off your morning as well. Now let's talk about the fog. It has been on the minds of many. In fact, I've gotten messages last several days talking about the fog and how it's the, the worst we've seen it in many years. And you can see right now visibility in a lot of areas down to a quarter of a mile, maybe even less. Meadows Field is down to zero. So if you are going to be catching a flight out of Meadows Field, you might want to call ahead to make sure there's no delays this morning. And then I want to talk about the rain because that is playing into this. Remember just a few weeks ago we picked up just under an inch of rain. All that went into our ground. The ground continues to be saturated with that moisture. <clears throat> And that is one of the recipes that we look at for really helping that fog form. So I want to kind of illustrate this again uh, when we see this radiational fog and it gets real soupy out there. So we need a few ingredients. So we need that ground moisture, which we did see with that heavy rain just a few days ago. And then we get the clear skies overnight and the calm winds. That all put together here really starts to make this fog form from the ground and rises up. And that's when we see the visibility really diminish around the area. And that's exactly what we've been seeing for several days and it's because of that moisture content in the ground. So there you go and that's why the fog is out here not only for us but areas to the north of us so that will continue if you are going to be traveling in a northbound fashion. Here's a look at our visibility. Fresno zero. We've got zero in Bakersfield it gets good in Los Angeles and then north of us Sacramento also has a little bit of fog. They're at one mile visibility right now. Uh, high pressure and control here it will weaken as we go throughout today so I think we'll see a better day tomorrow and Wednesday in terms of the fog as another system rolls in out of the north and that will help to mix us up and limit our fog development. So there is hope there. As we take a look at Futurecast HD, no rain headed our way. In fact, we are going to see a lot of sunshine uh, the next seven days. By the end of the week, maybe a few clouds, but that will be about it. Uh, regional forecast for today, 54 in Tahoe, 65 in Fresno. Look at Los Angeles, 84 today, 83 in San Diego, because that ridge is just uh, to the south and west of us. As we take a look at our national weather, a lot of people will be traveling, not a lot happening. There is a system along the East Coast. It's a fairly fast moving system expected to move off to the East today. And in terms of our airport delays, Meadows Field, morning dens fog, and then mostly sunny by the afternoon, 46 degrees right now. Uh, currently, no delays out of Meadows Field. And you take a look at other airports that are real popular this time of year. We've got uh, nice conditions in San Francisco, some rain in Atlanta, and you can see the delays all green. That means uh, delays, if there are any, they are 50 15 minutes or less. Here's a look at your forecast today. Morning dense fog, and then we should, and I say should, see sunny skies. Again, depends on how quick this burns off. 68 in Bakersfield, 66 in Delano today, 67 in Taft for the mountains and the Kern River Valley. Sunny skies in east southeast wind, 10 to 20, 62 in Fraser Park. To Hatchaby at 63 with lower 70s into the Kern River Valley. And then for the desert, sunny and mild today, 68 in Mojave. Here's a look at the extended forecast for you. And it really looks uh, pretty good. Uh, plenty of sunshine across the board here. A few clouds will come into play as we head into the weekend, but that's about it. Temperatures very nice, uh, remaining into the 60s across the board. Overnight in the 40s, and then for the Kern River Valley, you'll look at uh, 50s and 60s the next seven days. Your coolest day on Wednesday with 57. And then for the Kern River Valley, uh, 60s to lower 70s, and temperatures overnight into the 30s. But no rain, just some sunny skies.